Welcome friends, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple 20 meter antenna for your HT. Let's do it. Oh, by the way, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check the all button so you get future videos. Let's get on with this. All right, so the other day I was talking to my buddy Javi, K6TNT, and he was running some ideas past me that he had for an antenna for his HT. He likes to do a lot of sodas, and he was, doesn't always want to throw up his uh, J-pole, his roll-up J-pole. So we were talking, talking, and all of a sudden an idea popped in my head of using one of these, a B and C connector with the uh, screw-off tops there, to make a little antenna that you would put on a maybe a short piece of PVC I haven't quite figured that out yet by the end of the video I have it and just take this thing and throw it up and hold it like you would like a little small Yagi or something like that but something that would get more gain than your rubber ducky I mean there's lots of options out there you know and I thought I was I did come up with this idea but I'm not the first one to do it there's a, uh, a VK1 and I'll try to put his his uh, call sign in this later but uh, all you do is you're going to put it on a you're going to have a piece of coax a little pole and this is what you're going to have pretty simple to make guys it doesn't like me there you go well, it likes me there you go so let's check this out it's going to be pretty easy build you know <sighs> scrounging up the parts will take you longer than building the antenna 10 or 15 minutes max uh, this video will probably be about that long. So stick with me and we'll get started on this build. Okay, so um, let me just tell you who, where I found this. Uh, like I said, I did come up with this idea, but it ended up somebody else had already done it. So the site I'm, I used is uh, Get Out of the Radio Shack and Live Life, uh, Andrew, VK1AD. And that's where I've gotten this all this information from after I, I mean, like I said, I thought of it and then I found out this guy had already done it. So there you go. You can check out his site. It's got a really nice site. It's got a bunch of different antennas that he makes. So basically what you're going to want here is you have two types of these BNC connectors um, with this, with this, let's see, this style end on it or this one so you can use either one whichever one ends up being better for you I just happened to grab one and make this um, so all you're really gonna do is you're gonna take a piece what I what I took was a piece of uh, house wire 14 gauge and I'm gonna do a video on a how to how to straighten it it'll be like a, a pro tip um, really quick probably less than five minute video on how to actually straighten wire when it's been, you know, a lot of times it's been wound up and stuff like that. But this is just, um, you guys see it here. This is just 14 gauge house wire, solid, you know, like a solid piece of wire. You cut it for two meter, but you can also cut it for 70 centimeter and use it on the same one, same uh, connector and just uh, exchange the wires out. The other way I saw this is guys just bend it around and did two two pieces of links of wire at the same time off of the binding post. So this one I'm, I'm going to have set up so you can probably just pack it inside a piece of PVC and throw it in your, uh, your backpack. So using the calculations for uh, 70 centimeter, it would be like about, oh, it says 0.49. So I'll just make it six and a half inches. And actually what you want to do is you want to, you want to bend it first. So I'll do that here. And all, my, all I'm going to do is take about a quarter inch and uh, bend a 90 in it. Okay. So that's all I've done is just bend a 90 there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two of these six and a half inches. So what, what I'll do is just back this piece here to there and then I'll, I'll mark six and a half with my finger. Okay, 
I'm going to bend another one. I'm going to mark six and a half, six and a half inches again and cut it. So basically we've already built the antenna. That's, that's pretty much the antenna. Add this. Now I will say that I did have to drill the holes. Let me show that to you. If you see the little holes in the metal there, they're not quite big enough for 14 gauge. So it'll depend on the wire you use. I, I wanted to use this house wire 14 gauge because it's pretty stiff and uh, it holds itself pretty straight. Now I had another idea. I'm going to stop the vi I'm going to stop the video here and I'll restart it. But what I'm going to do is I am going to cut a piece of plastic because I'm a little anal at times trying to get things. I want two points of contact to hold this thing kind of straight. So let me, let me go cut that. I'll be back and I'll show you my plan for mounting all this up. All right. So here's what I did. I took this piece of, uh, it's ABS plastic. I think I got it off a, of, off of Amazon. It's pretty cheap, but it's, it's nice to make little things out of. This is prior to me getting my printer, but I didn't even think I needed to even print anything for this. What I did is I drilled two holes, the width of the binding post and I made them big enough to where they would set over and past. Let me show you a different one here. I made sure that they've set on this black section here. Okay. And then I glued it to this section here with some uh, super glue. Super glue worked really good. I tried some uh, gorilla glue, glue that you use water with didn't hold as well. It could have been the plastic. So, and then what I did here is if you look at it, I just drilled two holes on each end and just ran a, uh, a super small wire tie through it to hold this thing kind of straight. Now you guys will have to remember that, let me, let me kind of do the, if, if you guys are going to use this for FM, it needs to be vertically, you know, so up and down, hard to show you guys this, but Horizontal would be for, and, and I did test this. I tested this on uh, 144-200, which is the calling frequency for sideband 2 meter. And I also tested it on 146-520 for uh, FM calling frequency. It's It was perfect on both. I ran it up to like 30, 35 watts. And the only way I really had to check it was my uh, FT-991A. I don't have a, uh, I had borrowed a gauge before, or a, a, a antenna analyzer before. That did to me and I don't have one handy, but that's good enough for me. Uh, it showed like almost, zero, well, it was pretty much zero SWR. And what I would do the, uh, it was 19 and a half inches on the two meter measurement from the bin. And that was perfect. So what I would probably do is, you know, most, most, uh, backpacks will be, you can put at least two feet on it and not be up above your head. Now you could do a piece of half inch. And I'm not sure if the half inch will fit in three quarter. I'll check that. Or you could go one inch to half inch for sure. You can store all the aluminum from the wires in that pole to protect them while you're, you're, while you're um, walking. Yeah, this, this should work pretty good. It should be better than your, your normal, um, HT antenna. I would hope. Okay guys. Um, so I, my supply of PVC right now is really bad. I've done some PVC work in the back, some sprinkler work and stuff. So I don't have much, but what you, what, Really, uh, a piece of half inch, two feet long, a cap on each end. You can store all these pieces here. But let me show you what I did. Now, the piece of plastic up here, you guys, if you look at this, I put a small piece of, uh, or a small wire tie around it right here, through the two holes that go through there. And then I just taped the BNC connector um, where the coax goes and the coax to this pole. And you can just take this thing now, and uh, I can't really show you too much. I'm trying to do it against my house so you can see it so there's nothing in the background but you just lift it up as high as you can and that's going to be most likely going to be better than your ht uh, rubber ducky that your radio has but it came with stock you know so hopefully this is helpful for you guys uh now remember this would be for sideband now when you do it for 
FM, you got to turn it sideways vertical. Now, also try to get your coax so it comes out as far as at least the two feet hold it there. And then when you hold it out, you know, so that, that should work pretty good. But I do know it works. I hooked it to my 991A. The SWR was nothing at 30 watts. So, and most people are going to use this for an HT. They're not, if you're going to bring out your, uh, your 100 watt radio or that does 50 watts, uh, like my 991 does on two meter, I'd, I'd bring my YAG instead. But uh, hey, it's another, another tool. Super easy, super cheap. I mean, I don't think you can get any cheaper than that. You should have everything. Most, most hams would have everything at their house already, <laughs> except maybe the BNC binding post connector. Okay, that's all I got to say about it. Okay, that wasn't everything. <laughs> the other thing is, all you have to do is take these two out, and you remember the 70 centimeter ones I cut in and put them in, or like I said, you can take them and bend them around and cut them. You know, I'd bend them, I'd make them long, and then measure from here to the out T19 and a half, and I think it was six and a half for the 70. And then you have both and you don't have to change it. But the nice thing about this setup, everything should fit in the uh, half inch tube, the PVC tube. Okay, that now it's really the end. Well, except for the end. Pretty easy build, huh? I told you guys it would be easy. And uh, most of the stuff, a lot of you have probably already have this stuff laying around. I will, in the comment section, comment? No, in the description section down below, I will put all the parts that I used Basically, it's the, the, this connector and some wire. And I, I did have a little piece of plastic. You can use anything like wood. I tried to use a popsicle stick. The popsicle stick's not wide enough uh, for the size holes that I drilled. But uh, hey, if you did like this, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, hit that all button, and uh, that way you'll get all my future videos. And also, go ahead and hit that like button. You'll like it. This is Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Ventures. Thanks for joining me and spending your time. 73 is all. Hope to see you on the airwaves.